The district red bud, one of the special things I like is it becomes family. Um, I've become acquainted with, really acquainted and friends with a lot of these staff members. You get to know them, uh, we go out, we have events together, we have special things like tailgating together. It just becomes family and that's what I really like about it. We have so many um, diverse teachers here as far as how they teach and what they teach and it's really neat to want to try new ideas because you have lots of support from each other. If you just want to share a new idea, someone's always willing to take that idea from you or even help you improve it. There's just so much knowledge in our building that anything you want or need, someone in the building can help you out. The best part of being a parent is definitely the open communication between the teachers and the parents. So our district has been very uh, progressive in trying to get uh, what we do out to the public. So we have been uh, really good at pushing out with Twitter and Facebook and showing um, the community what's actually happening in our classrooms and in our buildings. We receive daily announcements. The teachers use certain apps where they're updating us on what the children are learning and specific activities that they're involved in. And then we also receive a weekly recap of both the grade school and the high school of what the children are involved in all week. Redbud is very unique in the fact that it's a small town district, but yet we have so many veteran and new teachers that are doing progressive things. Our district is trying new things, so even though we still have that small town feel, we're keeping up with the bigger districts in our area. The student body here is large enough that we have the opportunity to afford many different courses. Uh, there's foreign language, there's weightliftings, there's all kinds of opportunities to do things that outside of just the core courses. But also the student body is small enough that we get to know many of the students by name. You know, walking through the hallways, everyone's friendly, welcoming, always willing to help out each other. Um, the same goes to the district and the leadership and the teachers. Uh, and their, their involvement with the students as well. It feels like a humble place to be, like there's no negative vibes. Most of the people are pretty nice here. I've never met a teacher that I haven't been able to talk to or ask questions about, and it's good to have a feeling that you're always able to talk to teachers. They, they get to be, and to my opinion, they're my kids. And when they get to know you, they take that opportunity to come to you. They feel like this is a home to them. We are, in, in some regards, we're their parents away from home. Redbud is very unique in the fact that we still have all the extras that a lot of schools have had to cut. We have band, music, computer, STEM classes, library, PE. We have aides that help us in our classroom. We have special ed departments. We have special ed aides. There's so many things that Redbud still has for students that a lot of districts no longer are able to provide. The town of Redbud is a unique community because it's, it's quaint enough that when you go out, the locals know who you are, they call you by name. You can still leave occasionally with your doors unlocked, your kids can play in the backyard, you can go for a walk at night. There's a lot of community activities to do in town. One that comes to mind now in this season of the holidays is the beautification committee. We look like a Norman Rockwell picture um, at Christmas time. We have tons of restaurants and places to go. And you can just kind of hang out and, and be part of the community that maybe in a larger town you get lost in, but Red Bud you do. Welcome to the Musketeer Volleyball Night here at Redbud High School. We are trying to finish up, Musketeers are trying to wrap up this third game of this match here. Um, currently 16-16, both schools are fighting tooth and nail to get the big W. We see a lot of passing, not going to the setters right now. 
it helped either team to get a good pass up and get a good hard hit to get that momentum to push them over. Good serve. Difficult for Red Bud to, to get under. All right, nice high set. Ho Grafey for a nice, nice hit. Ooh, and a tip, tip by Chester that D Wall just was not able to get to. It was in a, a good spot. All right, Hope Grapey with a pass, and Ziffel with a nice hard hit, but was that blocked or in the net? In the net. I am Vicki Mudd, and I'm here with Evan Mudd. We are not related, <laughs> that, we, that we think, anyway. And we, uh, this is our first night here broadcasting live. We're trying to figure this all out so that everybody at home can enjoy Red Bud Volleyball. Ugh. That tip from Chester just got right to the middle of the court and we couldn't get to it. We have a timeout by Red Bud. I'm sure Coach Mudd's telling them to transition off the net a little quicker so they can pick up all those tips that Chester's sending. And Chester's probably telling oh, them gotcha. to keep the serve. All right, serve Chester. Nice hard serve to Hope Grafey. Set and a nice hard hit. Chester receives. Chester hits it in the net for a side out. All right, Murray with a good serve deep in the court. And we have a nice pass. Hoke Rafey, good hit, center of the court. Tip. Dufren Klein tried to block it. Wasn't quite enough. And we lost that serve. All right, we're playing until 25 tonight for this third Third game here. Good pass. Ooh. Setter was in the net. Is that what you got? Touch the net? Yeah. So a point, Chester. Jump serve. Center of the court, well received by Meyer, and a good hard hit by Klein. Chester was in the net now, so Redlet's gonna get another shot here. Oh, great if he subs out, Samantha Cockles coming in for serve. Good serve. Chester had difficult time receiving that with a tip. And Redbud sends a free ball back. Good hard hit. That was a difficult one to receive, hard to the right side. 
and Chester takes home the win. Redbud fought hard, three games long. A lot of those players are gonna change shirts and get ready for the varsity game. Redbud Industries is a third generation company located in Redbud, Illinois. It is a fast paced, innovative company recognized worldwide as an industry leader in coil processing. The really neat thing about working at Redbud Industries is the way that it impacts so many people's daily lives. We are building equipment that slits steel, cuts steel into pieces, and is then provided to original equipment manufacturers. So really, on a daily basis, you could be interacting with some form of steel that has been cut from a machine that we've built. It's really neat stuff. My favorite part about working at Redbud Industries is the family atmosphere. From the competitive wages to the excellent insurance and benefits, all the way down to the team building events, they just make me and my wife and my children feel right at home. I feel like I can come to management if I have an issue. I feel like I can present my ideas and feel like I'm being heard and see those ideas either come to fruition or at the very least progress be made. I think the team here at Redbud Industries is top of the line. I've worked several other places and they just don't compare to the group of people here at Redbud. You can genuinely see that everybody wants the company to excel. There's always someone there to help me. I can look on my left or my right, and if the guy next to me can't help me, he will go to the next guy, and someone's there to help me out. I feel so blessed to have been able to find something so close to home. The community itself, everyone is really involved, and it's a great place to live and work. They recognize the potential in everyone and put you where you fit best. If you're interested in a lifelong career at Redbud Industries, please go to our website for more information or to apply. Okay, we're back in here at Redbud High School. The fans are on the court trying to get their players excited and motivated for this game. But, but has a nice band section tonight. All very excited. This is the first regular game of the season that is home. It seems like there's a lot of red, white, and blue in the crowd. Was there a theme going on? Yeah. Yep. Last year's Redbuds record was 14 and four. They were the conference co-champions. They were sad to have seven seniors graduate. And uh, one of those seniors was Olivia Carley who is playing at Swick. I think Coach Legender is, is hopeful for a equally, if not more, successful season as last year. We are just getting started.
We've seen almost everything, so we know how to cover almost anything. Like the sister side swipe. And we covered it, May 2nd, 2020. Call my dad, Danny Schultz, with Farmers Insurance. All right, welcome back. Redbud's taking the floor for a little warm up. Getting those swings ready. Making sure those blocks are up. Redbud would love to take home another win tonight. This year they are two and six. Coach, coach was really proud of the wins over Chester and Steelville and their, their close games with Jabot and East St. Louis. We have returning varsity players, Hannah Sievers, Megan Henry, Katie Schneider, and Chloe Wild, and Kayla Nedmeyer, Maggie Dufresne, Addison Liefer. So with those seven players, we have a lot of experience on the court. Swing by Nettemeyer. Currently, Megan Henry is the kill leader with 23 kills, followed closely by Hannah Sievers with 22, and Chloe Wild is right behind with 19. All three of those girls have a big presence on the court and are difficult to defend by the other teams. Tonight we're facing Chester High School from Chester, Illinois. Chester is two and one, if I'm looking at their stats right. Oh, nope, overall four and two. With one conference win. With one conference win, and they're third in the conference overall. Looks like Chester's played Carlisle, came out on top there. They played Trico, came on top, out on top there. But they lost to Redbud. 
on September 1st. They have also beat uh, Steelville, but lost to East St. Louis. Um, Redbud Industries is a third generation company located in Redbud, Illinois. It is a fast paced, innovative company recognized worldwide as an industry leader in coil processing. The really neat thing about working at Redbud Industries is the way that it impacts so many people's daily lives. We are building equipment that slits steel, cuts steel into pieces, and is then provided to original equipment manufacturers. So really, on a daily basis, you could be interacting with some form of steel that has been cut from a machine that we've built. It's really neat stuff. My favorite part about working at Redbud Industries is the family atmosphere. From the competitive wages to the excellent insurance and benefits, all the way down to the team building events, they just make me and my wife and my children feel right at home. I feel like I can come to management if I have an issue. I feel like I can present my ideas and feel like I'm being heard and see those ideas either come to fruition or at the very least progress be made. I think the team here at Redbud Industries is top 